transformational generative grammar or PG grammar. The topic that I present in this module is transformational generative grammar or TG grammar in linguistics. It's a linguistic theory propounded by Noam Chomsky, the American linguist. This became one of the influential theories during the 20th century. Chomsky introduced this theory through his two books, Syntactic Structure, published in 1957, and The Aspects of the Theory of Syntax, published in 1965. As the name suggests, this grammatical model has two aspects, transformational and generative. It is transformational in the sense that all complex or sophisticated sentences are transforms of the basic types of sentences. Kernel sentences are the basic type of sentences which are active, simple, affirmative and declarative. All other sentences are transformations of the basic type of sentences. Chomsky introduced transformation rules or T rules to explain the transformation taking place in a sentence. A passive sentence is the transformation of an active sentence. Chomsky thus explained the relationship between sentences. Chomsky then explained the second aspect of language, that is the generative aspect, by stating that output, that is the unlimited number of potential utterances of any language, is not the same as the input, that is the limited number of utterances to which any speaker is exposed. The generative approach to the study of language was evolved as a reaction against the empirical approach of the structuralist. The task of a linguist Chomsky believed should be the prediction of all the well-formed or grammatical sentences of a language through the compilation of an explicit set of rules. Chomsky also explained the concept of competence and performance through which he makes a fundamental distinction between a person's knowledge of his language, the system of rules he has mastered and his actual use of language in real life situations. He calls the first one as competence and the second one as performance. The grammar that the speaker internalizes is called his linguistic competence. What he actually speaks of is called performance. The concepts of competence and performance are identified with the Saucerian concepts of land and parole. Chomsky also explained the two levels in language and the grammatical analysis is carried at these two levels. These two levels are the deep structure level and the surface structure level. The superficial or the apparent structure of sentences is called the surface structure and the underlying structure is called the deep structure. All the sentences of a language, Chomsky says, have a surface structure and deep structure. The meaning of the sentence is conveyed by the deep structure whereas the form is given by the surface structure. A deep structure of a sentence becomes a surface structure after transformation. Chomsky also explained the three components in TG grammar. They are phrase structure component or PS component, transformation component and morphophonemic component. The process of transformation begins with a labeled phrase structure grammar. A deep structure is converted to its surface structure. For this, Chomsky adopted an IC analysis of a kernel sentence. The second component consists of transformation rules or key rules. Using these rules, the kernel sentence can be changed into a passive or a negative or an interrogative sentence. There are various transformation rules like negative transformation, interrogative transformation, passive transformation, etc. Thus, from a given kernel sentence, applying various transformation rules we may generate any number of complex or more sophisticated sentences. The morphophonemic rule converts these symbols into words and sounds. While phrase structure grammar and IC analysis deal with the constituent structures of sentences, TG grammar points out the relationship between sentences. TG grammar is meaning preserving. Sound and meaning are given equal importance. In short, TG grammar 
attempts to describe a speaker's competence and the competence can be said to enable him to have various skills as the ability to distinguish between a grammatical and ungrammatical stream of words. It also enables him to have the ability to resolve ambiguities both structural and lexical. TG theory in short is a theory of language and it provides a theoretical counterpart for everything that is involved in the speaker's knowledge of his own language. Thank you.